Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're continuing the iPhone 4 tips and basically covering what case you should get or what you're going to do to protect your iPhone. Now I've had iPhones since the first iPhone and I have to say I did have one scratch on the original iPhone. I don't even know how I got it, uh, but luckily, or I say luckily because it was kind of an, a, a weird situation, I got dust under the screen and Apple swapped it out for me. So that actually worked to my favor and then I got an iPhone free of scratches after that. So the iPhone 4 has a tougher surface on the front that doesn't scratch as easily. So do you really need a protective coating or, or screen? I would say you do if you're rough on your phone. I could go without it, and I actually do have a covering on here now, and we'll talk more about that in a moment, but I think you do need one, and uh, just for a couple different reasons. So let's first cover those. If you plan to resell this when you get the next iPhone, you're going to want a covering. You're going to want to take care of it so that the next person that gets this down the road has a really nice iPhone scratch-free. That said, it is difficult to prevent all scratches. If you look at the bottom of my phone, let's bring it in here, you're going to get lint and things like that. You're going to get some scuffs from dock connectors and missing and scuffing it. That's to be expected, but this is the strong part. This is the stainless steel. On the top, you get a few scuffs here and there, but it's really not too bad. Now let's first talk about the first type of case. Apple obviously makes a case that we've probably all heard of. It's the bumper case. This actually was the free bumper that Apple sent me, and it's a really nice case, but it doesn't offer much in the way of protection. It will fit around the phone nicely. I'm not going to put it on now. I have a, a skin on here. But it does fit around the phone nicely and protect it in a couple ways. It protects it from drops in that it adds a little bit of cushion. And it keeps it off the table or whatever you're setting it on because it adds a little bit of lift so that this isn't touching, nor is this top touching, depending on how you're laying it down. Um, or lay on the table clearance or whatever you want to call that. It provides that little bit of buffer that keeps it away from that surface and prevents it from scratching. However, it doesn't provide any scratch protection from keys or anything like that that you might bump it against or who knows over the time of use. So in that case, you could go with either a shield or you could get something like this, which this is also one of the free cases Apple sent when they had the antenna thing. I actually really haven't experienced that problem myself too much, but I know others I guess that have. So this will protect the back of the phone. However, those that actually use these, they kind of sit in here like this. It's a two-piece and it won't fit because I've got a skin on again. Um, it fits nicely, but there's disadvantages to this type of case. The disadvantage mainly would be the amount of dust that gets in there can actually scratch the phone. So the, the littlest tiny bit of dust, you wouldn't think of it this way, uh, can act like sandpaper on your phone. And uh, I've seen it time and time again, especially on the plastic back 3GSs. And now there's a newer thing going on where there's actually a lawsuit against Apple for scratches on the back from cases like this that are cracking the phones. They're more of the slip style case instead of the two-piece case like this. Uh, but they are supposedly cracking it by creating score lines or something. I don't know how accurate that is, but uh, supposedly that's an issue. Now the glass on the back of this is not as durable as the glass on the front. so it is going to scratch easily if you don't protect it. I actually do have one tiny, tiny scratch, but since it has a skin on it, you can't see it. And that moves me on to the next type of case. We have skin cases. This actually has a shield skin on it, and this is a shield skin. This is actually put on with an application of whatever the solution is, a little card that's in there that you squeegee on wet and let it dry for about 24 hours and you've got a protective uh, coating on here and you can see it on mine if I tilt it like this there's a little bit of kind of orange peel or wavy effect in there you do see it and I've tried lots of these uh, anything from a zag skin zag, zag shield uh, to best skins ever and bodyguards and personally nothing against the other companies but out of all of them that I've used I actually like this brand the best it seems to do the best job without creating noticeable covering on the screen and the disadvantages to these skins is that on the front it actually dims the screen slightly and provides less touch um, capacitiveness or if that's even a word but provides less uh, 
touch in input, so it doesn't move as easily. And this uh, shield skin actually doesn't really show any of those downfalls. So out of the others I've used, some are thicker. Zag skins are a little bit thicker. They do have full uh, lifetime warranties on them. So there are advantages to each one, but I would suggest you try uh, maybe a Zag skin, or you could try these or body... Uh, bodyguards best skins ever there are tons of different companies out there doing those but for me it's the shield skins at this time this point they seem to be holding up well lint free let's move on to the next one the next type is a covering this is actually an icarbon skin and this is just basically a sticker that protects the back and gives a carbon fiber look and part of the front not the whole front these are okay uh, they do a good job, but they don't provide any scratch resistance to the front. They do provide good resistance, scratch resistance to the back and side, but again, you're not going to get that. But you will get a different look and customization of your phone. So you have that type of, uh, of protection. And then finally, uh, there is this type of protection, which this is actually real wood, uh, cedar in this case, that is an, again a sticker that provides front and back protection and a little bit of buffer on the front screen because of its of its being wood, of having a little bit of a distance. Again, this doesn't provide any front screen protection. So there's also screen protectors. There's regular screen protectors. And if you can get them on perfect, great. They work great, especially if you have like an anti-glare one. As you can see, there's glare here and reflectiveness. And uh, there's there's disadvantages and advantages to each. You really need to take the time and dis uh, figure out what you want to use. If you were to ask me, I would say I like the skin because you see the uh, the original design of the phone, and I like the way it looks. But if you want to get creative and make it your own, obviously you're not going to want to go with this. If you want the ultimate protection, you could put this skin on the front and back, leave it off the sides, because believe it or not, this tiny, tiny little skin actually creates a buffer between these buttons on the side here, pushing the buttons here. So... If you took those off, and then you have front and back and side protection with all of this. But there's disadvantages. It's rubbery. It won't fit in your pocket easily. It won't slide in. I just like the phone like this. Uh, if you're careful with your phone, this is fine. If you're not careful, get a bigger case. And even like if you're a construction worker, something like that, get uh, an OtterBox, I would suggest. Something heavy-duty like that. I don't have one of those for iPhone 4, but those are really heavy-duty cases, OtterBox Defenders. And you could literally throw... I've seen this demonstrated. You can actually take your phone, put it in the OtterBox. I've seen someone demonstrate it in a mall by throwing it over their counter across the floor. And that was at at and I actually saw that. They wanted to sell the case. They demonstrated it that way. The guy was convinced, bought it on the spot. And the guy does that demo every day, supposedly. So I was pretty convinced after that point. And I've used one on a 3G and 3GS. So they're, they're great, but they do have disadvantages, bulkiness, things like that. So you really want to look, at, look for what fits your type of lifestyle is really what you're looking for. And kind of adjust to that. Now that said, you see I've got all these cases. There's going to be a giveaway, hopefully soon, where we're going to give away some more stuff to get you ready for your iPhone, I hope. So we'll be doing that shortly, I believe. But check back for that. And if you have any other cases that you want to suggest for the viewers below, please do that in the comments section. I'm sure the, those that are looking to get their first iPhone or get an iPhone 4 uh, definitely will appreciate the opinion. So please do that, and if you haven't subscribed already, uh, do that. I appreciate that. It helps me out. And um, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.